Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is RPG Bros. I'm Sean. And I am Justin. And we just got done with Castle Ordeal. Quite an ordeal it was. Moving on to Bahamut's Island. One of my favorite parts of the game. Many, re many different reasons. First and foremost being that your party's class gets upgraded. Yep, and you get a ton of treasure. It's one of the most exciting parts of the Nintendo Power when you first got it and didn't know what the hell you were looking at. And you're like, whoa, everybody changes class? It was pretty rad. Yep, whole new level of gaming. Very D&D-like. Hope you roll a crit when you freaking turn into a knight. Yeah, no HP kidding. Boost. All right. Got some good enemies here, you know, if you want to level up. These are some pretty good ones. Oof. Got you pretty good. Yeah, you did. Alright. Still haven't healed up since the uh, ice cave. So... You know, I'm gonna have to be a little careful here. We stopped at the hotel, I think, on our way to Castle Ordeal. I don't think so. The, um... The, we spells, aren't, the spells aren't restored. Well, we used some of them in Castle Ordeal. Oh, yeah. I mean, after that we didn't do it. No. This was all true. A little gold room. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, so I spaced that, guys. I meant, uh... Since Castle Ordeal, we haven't gone to the end. Alright, 1520 gold. 2750 gold. 9500 gold. Like 9500 gold. Yep. A lowly 160 gold. Yeah, 160 is not very good. You're not afraid of me? Then I am impressed. It's pretty cool. I like impressing dragons. Can't hurt. No. You want your dragon on your side, right? Kind of weird how in this game Bahamut's not evil, whereas in most other Final Fantasies he seems kind of like an evil dragon. Yeah. I mean, I guess he's controllable by the party. Does that make him not evil? Have you met Bahamut, the Dragon King? He honors those with courage as true warriors. Um, I don't think so. I think you just tame him. Doesn't mean that he is not evil. I don't know, though, but in Final Fantasy 2 or Final Fantasy 4, depending on who you talk to. Uh, Bahamut's cool in that game. And then... Oh, you have to fight him, so you can summon him. Su summon him. And then Final Fantasy 3, he, you know, summonable. Final Fantasy 7, sum summonable. Yeah, I'm saying I think he just, he's just tamed. He's not really that cool. He just kicked oh. his ass. We're going to the Castle of Ordeal to the northeast. There we will test and bring back proof of our courage. That makes sense that so you just kicked his ass. There's a bunch of dragons here. Once in the north, there were beautiful palaces and big mechanical castles. Ooh, what could that mean? Five hundred gold. Ooh, a house, alright. House is good. The proof of your courage might be anything. What, like a tail? It is quite ironic that a tail is what <laughs> is the proof of your courage. Oh, like you said, it could be anything. Yes. Maybe it's different every time. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, dragons living in Swamp Island. Yeah, Swamp Island seemed pretty lame. Like, it's not the place you would want to live if you were a dragon. Yeah, maybe there are the, the low dragons, dragons that are in trouble, yeah. <laughs> the rabble. Great music, Bahamut's Island. Much like the Ice Cave or Castle Corina. Yeah. Really nice soundtrack to this game. Hey, what over here? Whoa, look at this room design. Looks like a dragon. It is pretty cool. Yeah. 
Bahamut verifies the true courage of all. Hmm. This is Bahamut's room. Okay. Ooh, this must be Bahamut. A little bigger, a little heftier. <laughs> he looks kind of tubby, kind of like Koopa. Or uh, Bowser. His, his mouth is a little different. He's got an extra horn, it looks like. The tail of a rat proves your courage. I shall give you the honor due true warriors. Yes! Alright, so you can see we just got our classes upgraded. We're a knight, a master, a white wizard, and a black wizard. Should equip those Zeus's gauntlets. Yeah. Let's see here. Trade those for the silver, right? Mm hmm. I think the dragons say different things now, too. No, let's see. No. Nope. Oh, anyway. So, you know, Knight looks a little bit more badass than the fighter, I'm going to go ahead and say. Mm-hmm. Great coat of armor. Walking with pride. Does seem to be walking with pride, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. And purpose. Hmm. Purpose of getting the orb shining again. Hmm. Right on. I can where you're going with that. All right. Is this the last island? Might be. Okay. If you're brave enough, try meeting the king of the dragons, Bahamut. Okay. Well, these dragons are really serious about their bravery. Unprofitable business is not a pra practice of the dragons of Cardia. Okay. Wow. What does that mean? Long ago, dragons and humans lived and traded together. Hmm. Kind of got some cool little plot points in this uh, cave here. You think the dragons and humans trading together is a plot point? Well, I mean, a bit of history. Alright, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, one more. See what this dragon has to say. Only the courageous ones bring back the proof of their courage. What, like this rat tail? Oh, mighty warrior! <laughs> In the treasure box, you found a cabin. Nice. Five seventy-five gold and a soft. Okay, so I think that's gonna about do it for Dragon Islands. Cool place, though. Lots of intrigue and mystery. Let's see here. Alright, well that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Let's play Final Fantasy. This has been RPG Bros. Have a great day, and keep those buttons moving.